Okay, this video is going to be about what's called the binomial theorem, and typically the binomial theorem is used to expand expressions of the form a plus b raised to the n, where our n value is a positive integer. Um, typically, I mean, you could foil this out, you could multiply it out repeatedly um, if you had to. The idea is by using this formula, it's just going to be a much more efficient way of doing that. So. Um, a couple things, remarks about the formula. One, the formula, these coefficients, you're going to use factorials. Um, again, that's what the exclamation marks are called. Also, two, um, the, the binomial coefficients, the, the, the numbers in front of the variables, um, we use what are called combinations. Okay, So this is really a combination, n choose r. Really, you just need to know the formula and be able to work with factorials. There's a couple different ways to figure out these coefficients. Um, a calculator can do it, obviously. Most calculators can do it. Um, not all of them have a key for combinations and permutations, but any graphing one should. Um, another way to find these coefficients is to use what's called Pascal's triangle. And I'm not going to do it in this video, but I am going to talk about Pascal's triangle in another video and show you how to come up with these uh, coefficients. But Okay, so it says, uh, back to the formula, a plus b raised to the n, it's going to be n choose 0, a to the n, n choose 1, a to the n minus 1, b to the first. We continue this process of increasing the number, the r value by 1. Um, notice the exponent on the a starts at n. It's going to decrease by 1. Um, the exponent on the b is going to increase by 1 until the end you get to n. So sounds a little confusing. Um, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and just uh, write this out real quick. So I'm going to expand three things here. I'm going to expand a plus b to the fifth. And then I'm just going to simply relabel that a little, just to kind of emphasize the formula. I'm going to relabel some things and, hey, turn that into x plus 1 to the fifth. And then I'm going to do one other one, 3x minus y to the third. You may want to jot down that formula um, or have it, you know, if you've got a book with it. But it says to expand a plus b raised to the fifth. I'm going to expand it slightly different. I'm going to throw in one little extra thing, but it's, it's all going to be equivalent. Okay, so our n value in this case is going to be uh, just the 5. So there's our n value. And it says when we expand the formula, so we're going to have a 5 choose 0 term. It says we take the first thing, which is a, we raise it to the fifth power, we take the second thing, which is b, and we raise it to the zero power. So, you know, b to the zero is simply going to equal one, so that's why we don't write it. But I'm going to go ahead and stick it in there just to, uh, just to emphasize it. And then I just notice the pattern. So next it'll go to five, choose, 1, so the number in the bottom increases by 1. Um, we'll get a to the 4th, so notice its exponent decreases by 1. And then we'll get b to the 1st, so its exponent increases by 1. And now we're going to keep this pattern up. So this is going to, the, the number in the bottom is going to increase, the number on the a is going to decrease, the number on the b is going to increase. Okay. So 5 choose 1. a to the fourth, b to the first, and now we'll just continue this. 5 choose 2, we'll have, let's see, a to the third, b squared, um, I think we can squeeze it all in here, probably not actually. We'll have 5 choose 3, again I've got a, I'm going to decrease his exponent to 2, and increase the exponent on the b to 3. Okay, so let me just drop down a whole other line here. Plus, then we would have 5 choose 4. We would have a to the 1st, b to the 4th, plus 5 choose 5. Um, we would have a to the 0, b to the 5th. And now we have expanded this out. We still have to calculate these binomial, these coefficients, 5 choose 0, 5 choose 1, 5 choose 2, 5 choose 3, etc. But this is the idea. I just, again, I'm trying to emphasize the pattern. Notice the exponent on the a's decrease, the exponent on the b's increase, and notice at the same time if you add up the exponents, 5 and 0 is 5, 
4 and 1 is 5, 3 and 2 is 5. If you add up the exponents, you're always going to get the n value. So another little thing just to look for. Let's talk about evaluating um, these coefficients briefly. Um, so maybe I'll calculate a couple of them here pretty quickly. Um, so 5 choose 0. If we were to calculate that, that's going to be 5 factorial using our formula over 5 minus 0 factorial times 0 factorial. So again, you may want to uh, see my video on combinations, evaluating combinations and factorials. So this is simply going to reduce to 5 factorial over 5 factorial. Well, anything divided by itself is just 1. So really the coefficient 5 choose 0, that's going to have value 1. Okay, so we could do 5 choose 1 in the same way. All I do is plug in a 1 here. I'll plug in a 1 here. I'll plug in a 1 here. This one will be a little different when we simplify it. So again, I'm going to step through this part a little faster. We'll have 5 factorial over 4 factorial divided by 1 factorial. 4 factorial, um, if you expand out the 5 factorial and the 4 factorial, everything's going to cancel. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 1 factorial is just 1, so I could write times 1. Notice everything is going to cancel out except for the 5. So 5 choose 1 is simply going to equal the number 5. Um, maybe I'll calculate one other one here. Let's do 5 choose 2. So 5 choose 2. This is going to be 5 factorial over, we take the difference, so that would be 3 factorial, and then 2 factorial. So this will be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That's the numerator. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. 2 factorial is 2 times 1. So we could cancel out the 3, the 2, and the 1. The 3, the 2, and the 1. We're left with 5 times 4, which is 20 over 2. That'll simply leave us with 10. Okay, so I'm going to plug a 10 in there. And you can check that 5 choose 3 is also going to be equal to 10. You can check that 5 choose 4 is also going to equal 5. And 5 choose 5 is also going to equal 1. So now we've pretty much got it, everything expanded out. I'm going to write it, you know, a little nicer here. So it says we would have 1 a to the 5th, and then b to the 0 is just 1, plus 5 a to the 4th, b to the 1st, plus 10 a cubed, b squared, plus 10 a squared, b cubed. Um, let's tack on our other 2, plus 5 a to the 1st, b to the 4th, plus a to the 0, which is 1, times b to the 5th. Okay, so it says a plus b raised to the fifth power. Once we expand it out, evaluate the coefficients, plug it in, it says, hey, this is what we're left with. Okay, so again, <clears throat> it's slightly more efficient. That certainly doesn't mean that it's easy or that it's quick. Um, but again, try, you know, try multiplying out a plus b times a plus b times a plus b times a plus b. Otherwise, this is what you'd have to do. You'd have to repeatedly multiply all this stuff out, collect your like terms, put them back together, and turn it back into this stuff. Okay, so, well, that means then if we want to simplify x plus 1 to the fifth, notice that all we did was we replaced the x with the value a, and all we did was replace our b value with the number 1. So all we would have to do in our formula is make the same, the same changes. So a is going to be the same thing as x. So then I'm going to plug in an x everywhere I have an a. Everywhere I've got an x, excuse me, everywhere I've got an a, I'm going to plug in x. And then it says b is going to be equal to 1. So likewise, we can plug that one in. So 1 to the first, though, is just 1. If we plug in um, 1 squared, well, again, that's just 1, so we can erase it. 
Likewise, if we plug in 1 for b cubed, we'll get 1 cubed, which is just 1. If we plug in 1 for b to the 4th, we'll get 1. If we plug 1 in for uh, b, we'll get 1 to the 5th, which is also 1. So um, it says if you expand this x plus 1 to the 5th, we get everything that I just wrote here at the bottom. It says you'll get x to the 5th plus 5x to the 4th plus 10x cubed plus 10x squared plus 5x plus 1. So again, you know, I think uh, this is much faster than actually expanding it out and collecting like terms. Especially imagine if this was a slightly larger number, say 10. You know, it's obviously going to be pretty long, but um, much, much, much faster than expanding it out um, by multiplying everything. <coughs> Let's do one slightly different. Um, actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this one here because I think it's probably a little long. Um, and if you need to, you can relook at this one. I'm going to do in another video, I'm going to make uh, uh, the binomial expansion for 3x minus y to the third. This one will be a little trickier. There's a minus sign in there. Hey, we've got some coefficients, but that's okay. Um, so feel free to dig around, and I will have that one up as well.